Matt's winning in the FA Cup and advancement into the third round. Any thoughts on that one tonight, please? Well, obviously, you started exceptionally well. Started well, got the goal, got an early goal, and it's probably the feeling around was that we were going to go and score three or four in the game, and we had chances to do that. We certainly did. Um, but didn't quite. Uh, Killing instincts right at the end. Obviously, we hit the post a couple of times. Um, Liam's kicking himself that he didn't shoot himself there at the end. So it could have been a lot more comfortable than it, it was. Um, but sometimes, uh, fair play to them, you know, they, they, they play a certain way which always gives them a puncher's chance in a game. Um, and I think uh, that that was probably because we didn't take the chances when they came, it gave them that. I thought we started the second half edgy, a little bit too edgy. Uh, just wanted us to bring a bit more control to the game. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, that was probably allowing the the little bit of momentum that they had, that bringing Freddie on, kind of stem that and settle things down a bit. Um, but uh, all in all, we're happy we got through to the next round. You know, we we uh, this was always going to be a tough challenge against them. The first game um, at their place was uh, we all saw what it was and what type of a game that it was. Obviously, here today we we should have come to be one more than than we did. Um, uh, but we're through to the next round. I think it's worthwhile saying the resilience that we showed at some times like that uh, I was delighted with Jamil tonight in both boxes um, I thought he must have headed 10 balls in our, our box which good teams do by the way um, you have to find ways of winning different ways and, and today it was a I thought his contribution to the game was was fantastic um, again probably should have scored more pleased he scored the first one scored the goal sorry uh, so early on, probably just settled things down for him as well. Um, uh, but yeah, loads and loads of things to be pleased about. Of course, we wanted to have scored more, but we're in the hat for the next round and we won the second game of a week. Um, and we look forward to the next one. A proper poacher's finish from him and probably almost that, you know, proverbial monkey off the back for him to get that goal. I thought his overall play was fantastic. Um, yeah, to play the full 90 minutes, having not played for some time, um, it's testament to him, to the work that he puts in day in, day out, to make sure he's ready when he's called upon. Um, I've said before, Jamil Matt is somebody who uh, is revered by many in this division uh, for everything that he's done, everything that he stands for, um, and, uh, and and he continues to show that for me in, in what he does and the hard work that he puts into um, being a fantastic team player. I think you saw, as I say, both boxes for him and the the importance of him today um, and it's right that we're speaking about him after the game in my opinion for the work that he put into the game uh, it's also right that we talk about the back four or five I thought we defended extremely well for uh, la you know for the game um, headed a lot of footballs which you know you're going to have to do um, and, and refused to to give away their zero um, and that's what you know we have to have that bedrock of a team um, we, we have to um, pride ourselves on that which we did uh, and we're delighted, you know, we got through to the next round, which is what we came to do. That was the mission today, to get through to the next round and have our, our um, look forward to the game against Southampton when that comes. And, you know, it, it's good for the football club for many reasons, uh, not least financially, which is fantastic. Um, and, uh, yeah, as I say, mission accomplished. We move into the next round, uh, the next round and we go into the next game of the week, which we have to get ourselves ready for now. Somebody who may not get many mentions, I think you mentioned him on Saturday, but Jackson Smith again comes up with a fantastic save, you know, 10 minutes into the second half. It's not what looked like a certain equaliser for Alfredson. Uh, yeah, Jacko's done well, that's what he's there for, you know, that's what Jacko's been, um, that's why he keeps himself ready and raring and the hard work that he puts in day in, day out. And um, I thought he did great in the first leg um, in trying circumstances. I thought he did great tonight. First half was a little bit more of a, a concentration one and distribution one, and then second half, because we didn't get them second, third and fourth goals like we threatened to and should have probably, it becomes more of a, okay, now it's your time to shine. Um, and he did that. So uh, yeah, pleased for Jacko, he's a great kid. Uh, somebody who, as I say, he epitomizes the, the hard work and the improvement um, uh, culture that we create here. I was gonna say, uh, you mentioned Southampton, it's a great, you know, it's going to be a great day out. There's plenty of league games to come, but was that mentioned before the game or was that now something you guys can just look forward to as a group? It was mentioned that that's the, the goal to get through. It was certainly mentioned that, that we won our... Listen, to get to the third round, we've had to go through 
two real banana skin games um, against Sheppey and then against Alfred. Uh, two games where lots and lots of people would have loved to us, us to have fallen foul of it. Um, we're fully aware of that. And by the way, you know, when you look at who has gone out, Barrow had a tough one um, to get through. I think Reading went out for non league opposition as well. Um, they're no gimmies. They're certainly no gimmies. Uh, so, yeah, we're delighted that. You know, we get our now, time now to go and test ourselves against the championship team. So that was the mission today, and it was certainly was spoken about. Um, so we're delighted with that. And it's probably uh, finally just want to say um, on a little bit of a different note. Paul, you work with Tom. Paul's not here today. He uh, unfortunately his nan passed away uh, a week or so ago, so he's not able to be here. Um, and yeah, I want to support again the Warsaw family. You know, we. Uh, yeah, Paul's a fantastic bloke and we know he's going through a little bit of a tough time at the moment and we all stick together uh, and so yeah I just urge anyone you know we come across Paul send him some good wishes he's going through a tough time at the moment and the thoughts are with him